I'd swing like this too if I was going to get some food. I love food. Today we're taking some time away from the rhinos in the park to drive a few hours to the gibbon sanctuary. Gibbons are a species of ape and are the only apes you're going to find in India. Looking out my window as we drive there, I can see fields upon fields of tea plantations. These fields surround the protected park area, but also make it impossible for the population of the species to expand. Another thing I notice on the roads is plastic. Even with the awareness campaign show here on the upper left of this photo, the pollution from plastic is all around, and it's not only a problem in India, but in the whole world. As we pulled up on the road near the sanctuary, the driver and the guide got really excited as we have a rare sighting of a pigtail macaque. And it's right off the road. Talk about being off to a good start today. I didn't even have time to get my video camera out yet, but I snapped a few photos of this very elusive and vulnerable primate. Have a good day, monkey. We got some apes to see. Once inside the park, we met up with a guard and began our two-hour hike looking for the gibbon. We think we hear some calls. Either way, it's amazing to be out in the forest so early in the morning. This park was part of a larger forest area, but now it's just 8 square miles of evergreens and other flora. It is so nice to walk around. I'm glad to have both my guide and a guard with a gun, as you never know when you have to scare a passing by tiger or elephant away. Right now the only thing showing itself so early in the morning is this giant squirrel. As we walk on it seems like we're again very lucky to find another primate that doesn't always make an appearance here. Here are some stub-tailed macaques. We're all excited to see these quick and elusive macaques. Since they are arboreal as well as terrestrial, you'll never know where they might be. But this morning, it seems like they're having a nice grooming session up high in the trees. This sanctuary is home to a few troops, with an estimated total of 400 or so individuals. A large male like that can be over 10 kilograms or 20 pounds, and easily reach 2 feet in length. They will eat and fill their cheek pouches with anything from fruits and leaves, to frogs and insects. I love watching just how social primates are. That's what I call a friend, so I'm going to check your butt for insects. We're getting very lucky with macaques, but it's the ape that inhabits these woods that we now need to see. And as we search further on down this trail, I think we might have one up high in a tree. There you go, the only ape you'll find in India, the Hulak Gibbon. A gibbon is a lesser ape, and just like in felines with the lesser cats, they don't get as much attention as the greater side of their species do. Gorillas, chimps, orangutans, everyone knows them, but this ape also needs some popularity, as many species of gibbons are endangered. As we see here within the sanctuary, this population is going to have a very hard time expanding, being surrounded from everything from village, train tracks, tea fields, and even a nearby oil refinery. This gibbon in particular keeps looking off in one direction, so off we go in that direction to find out what it's looking at. Good thing my leech socks are holding up, and remember, always stick close to and follow the guy with the gun. And here we go, more gibbons. Looks like a male and a female with a baby. While the male gibbons are black, the females are a lighter brown. Sometimes they can be well over 100 feet up in these tall trees. This area is home to around 100 or so of these western hulak gibbons. They are broken off to around 26 or so family groups. 
Just like the macaques we saw earlier, they're up there filling up on leaves and looking around for any fruit. They're slightly larger and leaner than those macaques we saw, and they have the perfect long arms to move around from limb to limb. I'm having an amazing time looking up watching these gibbons. I wonder what they are thinking when they look down at me. Probably wondering what kind of silly primate did they let into our forest today. Well, we've been at this spot almost 30 minutes, so it's time to start walking back to the entrance as we have a long drive back to Casaranga Park to get back to seeing some rhinos. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe so you don't miss any India action. And for more information on these primates, please read this video's description.